Hello, today's Bible study comes from the book of Colossians, the first chapter, the 24th through the 26th verse, and it reads as follows. Now I'm re I rejoice in what I am suffering for you, and I fill up in my flesh what is still lacking in regard to Christ's afflictions. For the sake of his body, which is the church, I have become its servant by the commission God gave me to present to you the word of God in its fullness. The mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people. Well, Paul is talking about now what he's been doing and what he does for the Colossians here. And mm, it says, I now rejoice in my suffering for you. Well, remember, Paul was locked up at this time still, okay? But this suffering, and sometimes we hate suffering. I know I've been talking about suffering on my other um, outlets for talking about the word. But this suffering has good things that come out of it. There's fruit from it. And Paul did some good things while he was suffering, while he was going through this. And he was talking about his suffering for the Colossians and for other believers. He says, he told him, I rejoice in my suffering for you. Yes. And fill up in my flesh that what is lacking of the afflictions of Christ. This means that he had some things going on, some suffering going on. But he's not done yet. They haven't been totaled. He says, and fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ for the sake of his body, which is the church. And what he's saying is, I'm going through this. These things are going to happen. I'm not done yet. But I don't suffer for me. He suffered for the church, the body of Christ, not the building that you show up to, not the building that you hang out at, not the Methodist, not the Presbyterian, the Baptist and all that, but for the body of Christ, he suffered. And Paul lets him notice, and he says, of which I became a minister. Okay, so Paul was a minister and I like the term minister because it means servant and it wasn't because Paul did it or whatever it was according to God God was the one that got Paul into this if you if you look at it right there I become its servant by the commission God gave me to present to you the word of God in its fullness. God working again. And the mysteries, you know, the word of God, the mystery which was hidden is now not hidden. The, the mystery, and it's not like a mystery of trying to figure something out. It is a mystery of gaining knowledge of the truth. The mystery was not knowing the gospel and the truth. And now it has been revealed. It has been hidden. And now it has been revealed to his saints. You know, the Lord's saints. So Paul is saying, hey, it was hidden. And this <coughs> tells you it was hidden, but now it has been revealed. And this mystery, this word, this truth is available to us. And the mystery that you look at here is a simple fact that when he speaks to these Galatians, or these Galatians, because I'm going to the 
book of Galatians in my mind already. But when he's speaking to these Colossians, he's saying, God's mystery is revealed to you also, which really says it's revealed to the Gentiles. And that's why I was going to the book of Galatians, because there is neither Jew nor Greek, male nor female, free nor slave, for we are all one in Christ Jesus. It speaks to the inclusion in the same faith that was afforded to the Jews is the same faith that is afforded to the Gentile. The same Messiah that was afforded to the Jews is the same Messiah that is afforded to the Gentiles. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him, not just Jews, whosoever, that's inclusive. So he says, this is granted to you, this privilege that you think was just for the Jews. The fact that even the Jews thought that it was just for them. Because remember, they took Abraham's circumcision and made it a rule in order to be a Jew and to have faith. But Abraham had faith before circumcision. Remember, God found him righteous before his circumcision, which was like 13 or 14 years later when his son was born. So, Paul tells him that this is no longer a mystery. And he even said this back in Ephesians, like chapter 2 or 3. So, Understand that now the mystery is gone because God is God for everybody. If you thought that he was just for the Jews, Paul is telling you right now, God is for everybody. So there is no more mystery. Amen.